Hello YouTube, welcome to Username Replaced Plays Through Just Cause 3 Episode 22. Maybe wondering why I'm in Manea. Well, I'm going to do an activity. I'm dreading it. <laughs> uh, in this episode, we're going to have activities. Let's see. That's Rebel Drop. This is Gear Mods. Uh, some of the things I want are the wingsuit. Are the, uh, the wingsuit uh, mods. For some reason, the name escaped me, but they're mods. The grapple mods are also really good. Weapon mods. They're all right. Oh, yeah, weapon restock. Yeah, and special weapon ammo, that's really good, too. Anyway, uh, all these gear mods are useful, so I'm going to need to be doing these activities to get them. And I am unhappy because I am terrible at activities. <laughs> I am really bad. I am really bad at activities in this game. Uh, well... Actually, to be honest, I wouldn't say really bad, because I was good enough to get all of the gear mods in the game on my main save. But I wasn't good enough to get all five gears in, uh... I wasn't good enough to get all five gears in every challenge, which is terrible. There's the leaderboard, by the way. I got five gears before, 28,000. That guy, uh... That guy lost... That guy didn't beat my score by about 150 points. That guy's 150 points shy of my score. That's ridiculous. Anyway, so this is what wingsuit courses are like. We only had one activity in this, right? No, two. We had the, uh, the grapple one with the Bavarian. This is what the wingsuit activities are like. You get more points for going in the red circles. And, uh, in order to get maximum gears, you pretty much need to hit every single red circle. There's room for missing one or two, and, like, that's it. In the loading screen, there's a tooltip that says, uh, only the best performance will earn five gears in a challenge. And that is 100%, that's 99% true. It is ridiculous, like, so in some of these wingsuit challenges, in order to get five gears, like, you basically need to hit every single red circle. No exceptions. Some of them give you, like, you can miss one, but if you miss more than one, you won't get five gears. And some of them you need to get all of them with no exceptions, so. When that says in the loading screen, you need to have the best performance to get the five gears. Yeah, they're not kidding. They are <laughs> they are not lying at all. They speak 100% the truth. Some of these are brutal. This is the first one. This is the opening one at the uh, starting town, but some of these can be really brutal. Okay, maybe... I'm con I pressed E to go. Anyway, I'm considering uh, trying to stay silent so I can focus, but then I thought maybe I don't need to do that. So, yeah, you get perfect if you go in the rings. I got in the rings. Yeah, and some of them are really stupid, like, nope, I'm gonna hit the ground. Great. I don't have enough speed. Yeah, see, look how terrible I am at these. Awful. Absolutely terrible. Let me grapple my way through one. I got five gears in this before. I can do it again. Shut up with your unlocks. Shut up. We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> we are gonna be here. We are gonna be here for a while. Oh, boy. And don't expect me to be this cheery when we're finished. <laughs> Is that Corvette? Okay, hold on, just a moment, just a moment. We're not, this isn't a real one. I just want to see, is that a Black A Corvette? There are power runs and stuff, so definitely Black A, it looks like he spawned, and that one did too. Guys, guys, stop it. Actually, now that I think of it, well, there's no Corvette. Now that I think of it, maybe you could uh, try to cheat the wingsuit courses, because my uh, score is just going up simply by, uh, simply by flying around. So you could probably just sort of circle around and then eventually get a big high score. Which is definitely feasible with the Sky Fortress ones where you have the uh, where you have the Bavarian wingsuit and you can jetpack. But some of the other activities like uh, the Bavarian ones where you tow Bavarian like that, the seaport scramble, scrapyard scramble they're called, that's what they're called. Those are brutal! I also parachuted. So, restart challenge. Alright. <laughs> Maybe I could edit this like an attempt video, like that, uh, like in, uh, one of the Law Enforcement Chronicles videos in Just Cause 1, and, uh, one of the Red Faction Gorilla ones, the one where I stealthily destroyed a high-value target. Either way, this is attempt 3, well, attempt 2 doesn't count. This is attempt 2. I am too low, and I'm probably gonna hit the ground again in that tunnel. I missed that ring, but that's okay. There. There. There, there, up to there, nervous, good. That black hand, yep, it's a black hand we were on I don't even have time to look at it. Did we get all five? Did we get all five? Did we get all five? But yeah, that was a black hand we were on how about that? Did we get all five? Yeah, we did. 
We did good. <laughs> 28. Uh, did I beat my high score, actually? No, I got uh, 28. No, did I? Hold on. Did I beat my... Um, uh, no. No, I didn't. Shy by about 50. Yeah. Not that it matters, we, uh, we did that challenge. So, is Black Hand Weemer Runner still here? Nope. How about that? That's an interesting set. Why is the... Why is this here? Why is this here is another good question. Ah. Alright then. Here we go. Whoop. Up here. Whoop. Careful. Careful. Over that way. Don't know why I hopped in this and I'm not driving it, but anyway, those are a couple of interesting sightings. So, uh, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. <laughs> because, uh, it's the, it's the first one. It's the easiest ones, of course. Uh, I think next up I'm going to do that. And I feel like I remember getting all five on that was also pretty brutal. So, uh, all these challenges are brutal. Like, I feel like side activities in games like this. So, this just cost three, just cost two. Saints Row. They're all vicious to ace. <laughs> If you want to get them to 100% complete, like, uh, get all the gears in this one, or, wait, how did it work? And beat the maximum difficulty, and or all levels in the Saints World games, those are vicious. Those, these side activities are really vicious, they're way harder than the main game. I'm also taking some fire in the back by Rebels, thanks guys. <laughs> but anyway, these are, can be really, very vicious, and Just Cause 3 is no exception, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to be getting them for one all the gears. Thanks for the lift, oh god! Sorry. <laughs> Alright, here's the lobby for a land race. That's generally how it works. There's no red in the, there's no red circle in the middle for you to get. There's just the big circles. Those are the checkpoints. One minute, ten seconds to do this. Oh, someone's higher than me. Oh, well. One minute, ten seconds. I beat it by about two seconds. One point one seconds. So, uh, I'm also going to change my vehicle. What have I got? Do I have anything else? Uh, maybe I could use the Weemaroner. Good old Weemaroner. Or the Ogar. Maybe the Ogar is a good idea. What the fuck is Cero? Uh, the point is, I don't think the Striatoro is uh, the best one for this. I'm going to go with the Weemaroner. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. You can, uh, you can use any vehicle in the, these categories. Military cars, modern cars, vintage cars, motorcycles is the challenge default up there. You can also use sports cars, but I don't think I have any sports cars in the whole sports car section. Anyway, we're going to use a Weimar Runner. We're going to use a Weimar Runner W3, and I think I remember when it is the smoking of God wreck. Here, hold on. Let's move that over there. Come on. Good. Another thing about these challenges is that... I hope this clock doesn't start. Good, so I can talk. Another thing about these challenges, I don't know exactly how they all work but I know that some of them are impossible to complete with some vehicles and easy to complete with others and with that in mind it's possible that I've picked the wrong vehicle completely and I'm never gonna get five gears on this with a Weimar honor but let's go let's go I don't remember what I did I don't remember what I used to get five gears in this the first time I really don't remember at all I think it was the Autostrad D90 the four-door one uh, what's the name of the four-door autostrad? It was the four-door autostrad, anyway. So, I'm gonna go silent, because there's really... I'm gonna be quiet, and I'm going to, uh, know... I'm gonna be quiet, and I'm going to knowingly be quiet on purpose, because... One, there's nothing really to talk about, and two, I'm gonna focus. So, eight of twenty. I know for a fact it ends... I know for a fact the end of the race is up at the... Good, I didn't miss that one. The end of the race is up at the monastery that's up there. You need to make it there in a minute, ten seconds. And I'm at 47 seconds. So, oh, that's an issue. That slowed me down a bit. You know, these challenges, they're one of those things where something little and stupid like that can potentially be fatal. So, yeah, we have ten seconds, and I really don't think I can make it there in uh, five seconds. So it looks like we're gonna have we're gonna have to either do it again or get a different vehicle. Yep, now we're now we're at four gears. Oh no! Nope! Turn! Good! 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 Up! Come on! Come on! There's that one! Oh we're not even gonna get four! Uh, I got three. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that again. I got land nitrous, good. 
Actually, I just realized, why am I bothering to do the driving ones? Because these are the uh, car ones. Land turbo jump. I love the turbo jump. <laughs> Let's try the challenge default, because I can get five on this. I got five before, as you can clearly see. Oh, this game has ghosts. Good. Yeah, let's turn on my ghost. Why not? Start with ghosts. Let's use the default Studio Toro and see what happens. You know something? It occurs to me that this isn't even the... That these aren't even really the important gear mods, because I don't really drive a lot in this game. The important gear mods are the uh, explosives ones for C4, the weapons, kind of, the tether mods, the, and the wingsuit mods, etc. So, uh, nothing really else to do. I turned my ghost on, and, uh, my ghost. Oh, there he is, good. Yeah, he is definitely in the Forda Autostrad, uh, D90, I believe, maybe. So, yeah, that's what he's in. All right, careful, nope, careful. Yeah, he's already ahead of me. Look how fast he is. You can't, how do you do this with this Strio Toro? How would you, how would you possibly do this with the Strio Toro? I don't, I don't get it. I'm gonna need, maybe I should try, maybe I should get that car. Oh, there's some skid marks there. Maybe I should get that car before I attempt again. Then again, four gears is pretty fine, so why am I even bothering to go for five? There's a pole there that I just hit. Excuse me, hills. There we go. Good. Look how far ahead he is. Are these uh, challenges designed, designed like that, where you need to come back with a better car that isn't, that isn't the default? Glad I didn't get stopped by that pole there. That's good. The Moon Rider was definitely not the right car for this. <laughs> so, are these challenges designed for that? He went right through the fence, apparently. I'm going to take his advice. <laughs> Good. Around here. Good. Yeah, okay, he's swinging wide. I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna take. Why would you slow down? No. Why would you slow down? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Five, five. Yes, yes. Nice. Yes. With the Strio Toro, five. Five gears. Good. Yeah. 109 point. Less than a second shy. Less than a second shy of what would have been four. Yes. With the Strio Toro too. That's probably really hard to pull off. <laughs> Well, clearly not. I did it on, what, like my first... That was my first try with the Street of Toro, right? <laughs> Maybe? Maybe? Anyway, uh, there we go. Personal best, 109. Well, I did better with that with the Autostrad, but there we go. Yeah, we did it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Oh, well, there's a Rebel Shrine here. Sure. Sure, why not? It's a memorial to all the people that failed that challenge and rage quit. <laughs> Thought he was gonna say something about it. He didn't. Oh, there's another challenge right there. Uh, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. Ah, I wonder what my time is. Considering the amount of attempts that took, it's probably a lot. It's probably a fair amount of time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab the Autostrad. Well, maybe the Street Joy too. No, I'm gonna go grab the four-door Autostrad that I used for that because it should be useful in the future. So. Alright, where is it? Is it even spawning in, in Insulafante? Not quite. Sorry. Sorry, burped a little bit. Not quite certain where it spawns. Oh, hit a pole. It was too far to the side. Grapple up, and there we go. I cut. Well, that's the two door autostrad. I guess that counts. Am I gonna land on it? Nope. Uh, yeah, that's the two door autostrad car. I guess this counts. It's also in a really good red. Ah yes, D700 is the one I was thinking of. The four-door is called the D90, this one is the D700. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, alright. We'll just go put it in a garage, and then I'll be able to use it in vehicle challenges. Is that the four-door one? No, that's the Kerner Serpent there. Oop! Okay. So, I'm gonna save this vehicle, and then that should be the end of the episode. Alright. Up around here. Okay, you know one of the things that's slightly... Oh, there's some beacons. No, careful. That was, that was an alright drift. <laughs> you know one of the things that annoys me a little bit about this game? The brake is shift, because uh, you need space for the parachute, etc. So it's all weird, and then you go play a different game, and then you try to use shift to brake, and then you end up boosting, and then screwing yourself over. But, I mean, you know, there's nothing really they can do about that. So, I saw that destroyed Medici Police car. I thought it was something interesting. It was not. Anyway, there we go. Autostrad D700. There we go. Vehicle is now unlocked and appears in your Rebel drop list. Ah. You know what's a really good idea? A car for the revolution. I will be doing great things such as probably winning challenges. 
You know what's a really good idea that I just thought of? I should uh, view the ghost of the guy that did it two seconds shy of me and see what vehicle he used and how he did it. That's a really good idea. In fact, let me go check my time and I'll consider whether to show you that as I do that. Uh, are you allowed to get out of your vehicle? That's another thing. Can you get out of your vehicle and then just parachute and fall in that way? Oh, either way, let me check my time first. We're at 18 minutes, but this shouldn't take... This shouldn't take a while. There's a bit of a... Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Hold on. Control to exit. Is that still there? Yeah, make it look like an accident. I can do that. Oh my god, this is just sidetrack big game. <laughs> and I'll do that, and then I'll go view that guy's ghost. And then uh, the video will be over. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, 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 let's see, I know how to do this. Hey, need to borrow your limo for the revolution. <laughs> is he back there? No, he's... Is he down there? He's down there. He's down there. Well, the fast, oop, well, the fastest way from point A to point B is in a straight line. That's what they all say. <laughs> That's what they all say. That's what they're gonna put on my headstone, right? <laughs> he died because he tried to go from point A to point B. And nope, that actually worked really well. That was perfect. <laughs> oh, and he even has the four-door Autostrad and it's in a nice red. I'm gonna kill her and then I'm gonna tow her a car to a garage. <laughs> yes, that is a perfect idea. There we go. There. Off this ravine, perfection. And, have a nice day. Please explode. Good. <laughs> I got a flare from that. Interesting. Okay, so, can I borrow a car? It's the Ford or Autostrad? Yes! Yes! It actually works! Dude! Oh, wait, no. Well, I feel stupid. This is not... This is not, in fact, the Ford or Autostrad. This is, uh, the 13 Vigor. And it's smoking and its hood is popped. Yeah, I'll go save it anyway, why not? <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Sure, I'll go save it anyway. I can't really think of a reason why not. If the Ford or Autostrad spawns, I'll do that. The D90, by the way. The Autostrad D90. If that spawns, I'll get it. But uh, if not, I'll just save this. And then I'll go see that guy's ghost. Okay? And then I'll go see that guy's ghost. We're apparently under Guardia Alpha 1. So, what well, Guardia Alpha, just Guardia Alpha, because there's no Guardia Alpha 2, etc. Okay. Alright. I really like the view. Wait, how do we get to Manea from here? Where am I? Ah, did I go the complete wrong way or something? Am I supposed to go up there? What if I place a waypoint on garage? Good. <laughs> Looks like we're in for a drive with a car with its hood popped. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm turning around. I said excuse me, I'm turning around. Okay, and she's screaming at me because I accidentally scratched her motorcycle. Just a bit. Okay, well, I'm gonna head over there. And while we're driving and admiring the scenery, can I just say something that I love about this game? In random encounters, the vehicles that are supposed to be destroyed, like this, you can take them, they work, and, uh, oh wow, even the, uh, well, that thing is still here. I don't know what those are called. The barrel traffic cones, kind of. The traffic cylinders, I guess. What would you call those? I don't know what they're actually called. Anyway, as I was saying, one of the things I love about this game is that, uh, if you find if you find a random encounter and there's a vehicle in it that's smoking and it looks like it's destroyed or it's supposed to be destroyed, you can turn it over and then take it and it's not destroyed at all and then you can use it and then go deliver it or drive it. You know why? Because this game likes fun. This game isn't going to taunt you with that. It's not going to spawn the car you were looking for for ages in, a, in an encounter just to taunt you. It's going to spawn it and then if you want and then you'll do the random encounter. But then if you want to go get it afterwards, like I'm doing right now, where the heck are we going? Really? Are you you real real? Really? You really want me to do that? Well, by that logic, I should just go there. <laughs> I'll just go there then. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, the game doesn't really taunt you with a vehicle that you've been looking for for ages if it spawns in a random encounter because the vehicle in, in an encounter works. And one of the proofs, one of the things that proves that, I had a bad turn there. Oh no, flipped over completely. Great, great, flip back over. Flip back over. That one would have been cool if that, uh, if that shot my hood. <laughs> that would be neat. Anyway, yeah, you know the Stat Tracer, uh, for something? You know the Stat Tracer, the armored truck, the white one, the sort of bank money truck kind of, kind of thing? It can spawn in random encounters, and, whoop, it can spawn, whoop, careful. 
it can spawn in random encounters, and it's on its side and it's smoking, but you, but you can then uh, flip it back over and then deliver it and uh, unlock it. Because this game is really good. <laughs> I love this game a lot. Did I mention that? I love this game. This is my favorite game of all time. That's a lie. It's tied. Just Cause, the Just Cause series. Can I just go around this way? Maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Have ourselves a bit of a shortcut. Ooh, and the Vistosa is here. That's a good idea. I'm going to deliver both. I'm going to deliver both. That's a good idea. Let's get away. Oh, I already have the Vistosa, apparently. Wait, I, I actually, I think I remember doing that at one point. I think I remember driving the Vistosa back. It, like, spawns near Manea. I think. Maybe. Either way, we're going to go up here, and then we're going to deliver this vehicle. It's right over there. Oh, gee, I remember this one. This, I took a Medici police car here. I took a Medici Police Street of Joy here once, and it was brutal. And by brutal, I mean this was really uh, nerve-wracking to get down these narrow steps. Anyway, as I was saying, my favorite games of all time, it's tied between Red Faction and Guerrilla, which is pretty much near perfect. Uh, the Just Cause series and the, Command and, and the Command and Conquer series. So, there we go. We got the unique 13 Vigor with its, ho with its hood popped from a make-it-look-like-an-accident uh, encounter. That's pretty neat. <laughs> there you go, there's the video. Right. I cut, well, well, yeah, I, I had another car. You said that same exact thing, Alessia. Just be quiet. Thank you, Alessia. So, let's go view that ghost finally, shall we? Alright, here we are. So, leaderboard, ghost, ghost has been turned on. Uh, change vehicle. It doesn't matter what vehicle I take, so let's just take an APC, because why not? Because why not? Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Can I get in and out? Can I get in and then start the challenge and then get out? Yes, I can. He used the street of Toro, really? Oh, warning, get back into a vehicle. Great. Okay. Well, guess I have to use a vehicle then. Uh, well, let's see how long it takes for it to fail me. Yeah, ten seconds. All right. Yeah, whoop. Okay. Yeah, so he used the Street of Toro. <laughs> How? Did... Yeah, I need to have a word with this guy. I need to find this guy and have a word with him. Failed. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> uh, okay, so he used the Street of Toro. How about that? <laughs> okay. Uh, apparently there are people that are way better at this game than I am, but I already knew that. Anyway, you know what this is, unfortunately? The end of the episode. Unfortunately. Sorry. Thanks for watching me. Goodbye, YouTube. Under a bridge to end it. Goodbye, YouTube.